Okay, right, hello and welcome back to another video. So one question that I get asked all the time is where to get started with real-time VFX in Unreal. Uh, and so what we're gonna do today is gonna go through some of the resources that are available online. Um, gonna go through some beginner resources if you're completely new to the to the idea of doing real-time VFX, uh, some of the more intermediate ones, some of the more advanced ones, uh, and we'll have a look at some free ones. Well, all those will be free, and then we'll have a look at some paid ones as well um, towards the end. So um, hopefully a, a lot of information about where you can get more information, where you can learn these skills. Um, and I want to highlight these videos to start with. So these are a series that Riot Games put out. So this is the Riot Games uh, YouTube channel. Um, breaking down the different disciplines within game art itself so let's say you're brand new to the to the idea of doing video game art and you want to know who does what within that uh, that team um, and that's what these videos are great for so a little 10-15 minutes uh, videos just kind of breaking down the different disciplines so uh, concept art environment art tech art uh, and obviously the one we're interested in here is uh, is game vfx so do you have a watch to all these things uh, if you decide that you are definitely interested in doing vfx work um, and you want to know kind of where to get started it's a really complicated discipline there's an awful lot um, of different skills and techniques that go into being a game vfx artist um, textures materials shaders particles simulations all of these things so you really want to kind of have a nice intro level uh, tutorial uh, and that's what this one i would recommend is so this is beyond effects uh, this came out quite recently. We skip through the various adverts. Okay, so, um, so a um, real nice handheld step-by-step -step introduction to game art VFX. Um, so making a grenade explosion, uh, and it's a uh, ten videos, nine ten videos. Um, really kind of going through all of the different um, steps and uh, creation to make your very first VFX uh, in Unreal. So um, definitely recommend checking that out. If you are new to the discipline, um, great place to kind of learn your first skills and, and really kind of like get your hands on making something. Cool, once you've done that, you know a little bit, you wanna learn a bit more, where do you wanna go? Well, you're already on my channel, so hopefully you know about my stuff. Um, I cover lots of different things. Um, Blueprints, shaders, landscapes, Niagara, all of this. Do check out the videos that I've got here. Uh, and then there's lots of other uh, people doing similar things to me. So one person I would definitely like to highlight is Ben Cloud. Very much more focused on shaders uh, and, um, and materials, uh, but really, really good tutorials, really kind of cleverly broken down, well explained. Um, definitely check out his work. Uh, and then also Simon. So Simon has a uh, blog here. Um, where he does breakdowns of things he's seen in games. So a little bit of uh, detective work, a little bit of breaking things down, um, kind of reverse engineering it. Really, really interesting breakdowns in here. Um, also done some talks. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about GDC in a bit, um, but there's some videos here. He did a talk at GDC, uh, um, recent one about being a um, detective in game art and things like that. So do check out his website. Uh, and then a few people who I watch uh, and I look up to and really kind of impressive technical breakdowns uh, in places that I'm learning. Uh, so Gisley and Giredo, really good uh, videos about some of the complex tech art things. If you're new to the, to the discipline, this is gonna be way above your head. Don't worry, as I say, it's a very complex discipline. It goes from really simple to really, really complex. Um, but always nice to know what kind of uh, things can be done. Um, and always nice to sort of impress yourself of like, oh wow, that's really, really cool. So really um, high-end stuff here. So if you are beginning, don't worry if this is all above your head. That's what the other things we've shown are, uh, are for to get you up to this level. But um, but yeah, nice to see the really complicating stuff. Uh, similarly, visual tech art, another great breakdowns of complex tech art things. So some post-process shading things here, all sorts of really cool, complex, um, high-end, solutions uh, and then finally tech art aid so a um, bit more out of the vfx discipline into tech art but to be honest those two things are different sides of the same coin so um some yeah some really cool things in there cool right so once you've done your learning and you want to share that with some people and get some feedback where do you go well there is a real-time vfx.com um, forum so you can post up work here um, for feedback you can post questions if you've got them about things you're struggling with. Um, if you 
you find that useful, it's really good. I honestly don't spend enough time in here, uh, but that's generally because I'm in the Discord instead. Um, and so there's a Discord server attached to this. So same idea, post work for feedback, post questions, um, and you'll get responses in real time. And that's why I'm generally found on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, as well as that, there is a wiki. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't quite so up to date, but there's still some really good things in here. Uh, the VFX discipline is constantly changing. There's always new technology, always new techniques coming out, but also we're always using the old ones as well. So some of the tech and the sort of techniques we would have used five, 10, 15 years ago, still very much being used today. Um, so lots of really good links here to various channels, tutorials, all this kind of stuff. So lots and lots of information that you can um, that you can get and check through. Uh, some of the people I've already mentioned there, Ben. Um, <coughs> cool, right. So that's all the free stuff. You can 100% do this completely free. You don't need to pay any money. But if you do want to pay a bit of money, you've got a little bit to spend. There are some paid tutorials as well. Um, so I have my own paid tutorials. So four materials bundles, three Niagara bundles, uh, or four materials courses, three Niagara courses, and then one bundle that puts it all together. There is a Blueprints course coming soon. Uh, I've done the content for it. I just need to record the videos. So that should be coming hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, lots of really good information in here. Uh, if you want to go for a bit more of a sort of specific course, there's this Mad VFX. This is quite a new um, kind of player in the in the VFX training course. Um, but this course focuses on environment effects and kind of really does step by step breakdown of all the different things you see here. So you've got uh, is it? that's not the one. It's actually find the course breakdown. Excuse me, courses. Here we go. Um, so really breaking down the different parts of that scene, the different elements. So dust motes, folding leaves, fire and smoke, um, a lot of things that I've covered in my courses as well, uh, but really nice kind of integration into a scene. And so you can check out that course uh, and then no conversation about learning VFX for real time would be complete without um, VFX Apprentice. So really high end courses, quite expensive um, or very uh, comparatively compared to some of the other ones that I've just mentioned. Um, but really really good quality really good breakdowns lots of uh, interaction with the tutors um, and so worth checking out here as well if you do have that little bit of money to spend and then finally uh, it's going to highlight the gdc vault now everything that happens at gdc that's the game developers conference uh, basically gets recorded and uploaded if you want to watch the recent things you need a subscription that's very expensive uh, I think like a thousand dollars a year or something like that. So um, not something that's going to be available to most students. But once you go back two years, uh, everything becomes free. So if you wanted to check out GDC stuff from two years ago, as I said, tech moves forwards, but also the um, the old techniques are still good. And so there's an absolute wealth of, of in-depth tutorials here from, uh, from, from game developers talking about what they've done. So um, once you've been through all of this stuff, all the free stuff uh, and you want to get even more in depth into it there are loads and loads of really good tutorials uh, in here talking about um, visual effects uh, and all the things we need to do in there so um, hopefully that is helpful as I say if you're brand new to the idea check out the Riot stuff and the Beyond Effects stuff if you've got your feet wet and you want to learn a bit more um, check out myself Ben Simon um, we've got some great stuff in there for kind of like leveling up and then if you are really uh, already quite advanced and you want to sort of see what's the pinnacle, what's the cutting edge, um, just laying visual tech art and tech art aid would be my recommendations. Obviously there are loads more people teaching, loads more people putting tutorials out. Uh, these are just my sort of personal recommendations of ones that I've used um, either learning myself or or yeah, all my own stuff as well. So do check that out. Come and join us on the Real Time VFX Discord and forums. Um, and if you have any questions or comments about VFX, any of the links that I've made today, please do, um, do reach out. And I'll see you all next time with an update, hopefully about the Blueprints course that's coming soon. Cool.